Today I'm going to show you how to create an interactive app with Keynote. The first thing you want to do is create a blank profile. I generally just take the white one, delete all the actual text. And we're going to open up our Safari so that we can access images or videos. And in this case, I've just pulled up a YouTube video, a simple one on the water cycle. I've copied the link and I'm going to go into Keynote, push the um, paste button. I'm going to click plus insert video from web and post in the YouTube link there. The video pops in and it should be accessible just like in Google Slides. What you want to do now is you want to link it. So have the kids watch the video, but we're going to add some text for them to click on once the video is done. We can ask them a question and then provide a few answers for them to click on. You can see I've been using the voice to text feature, which is very handy on the iPad. I'm also going to add a slide up to the presentation before I actually link it because it won't let you link anything until you add a blank slide. So after you've added the blank slide, you're gonna go back to the text and then you're gonna click link. You can see that I've added two extra slides. A yes, that's correct, and a sorry, try again. And these slides will be linked to the correct answers or incorrect answers on the main slide. When the student chooses the correct answer, they'll go to yes, that's correct. From there, you can link it either to the next question or have it go back to the home page, much in the same way an app might do. Now that you have all of the appropriate text available, it's time to start linking the slides. You simply just click on the text and you'll see the word link. It's the second last one usually. And you just simply link it to the slide. What's really cool about this feature is if you add slides in between, it'll automatically update the link to send it to that particular slide. 
so you can always go back and edit, which is excellent.